Hi everyone, welcome back to Sashay Away with Barry. I am here once again with David and Chris to toot and boot the looks of RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under season one, episode six, Family Resemblance. Um, Chris did not watch the episode again. He is so far behind, he's never gonna catch up, but we have him here only for his opinion on fashion. <laughs> Um, David, what did you think of the episode as a whole? As a whole, um, we were just saying it was a, it was a pretty good episode. Um, it was, what did I say? It was like wholesome while still being like dirty and fun and exactly. Draggers. It was like a very authentic episode. I think like even the queen who went home, like everyone did okay. Like there was nothing embarrassing about it. it was just, you know, some people missed. Yeah, I'm gonna. The queen that went home, I actually enjoyed her look. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I I was sad that she left us because yeah. I do love her. Um. Yeah, solid but, episode. I think we have like a really. They've proven they're like worthy cast members. I think, which is yes, of where they're they're at. I agree. Episode. Um. For those of you who tuned in and booted along on Instagram, we are not going through the hot men of the pit crew on this show. Um, sorry. Um, feel free to rank them in the comments if you want to. <laughs> um, my choice is number two. <laughs> he was my number one. Um, all right, here we go. So this was uh, Family Resemblance. It was the makeover challenge. And we always start with Miss RuPaul, of course, who did not get a makeover, but she wore something different. Oh, I love it. I I have mixed feelings about Me this. Me too. I love the little bolero jacket, but I hate everything else. I well, I actually I love the bolero and I love the boots. Like honestly, I want to rip that wig off of her head. What? Can I just tell you I own this wig? Do you really? I do. Well, sorry, I apologize. No, it, it it is part of the RuPaul Party City wig line. That's what she's wearing. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like she got it from Party City. Yeah. <laughs> so there, I said it. Her makeup yeah. looks amazing, though. Say it loud. Her makeup does look really good, and I don't hate the outfit. I mean, I'm still going to toot the outfit, but I there's there's just I have very mixed. Yeah, I, I have mixed feelings, well. but I'm going to toot it. Yeah. yeah. David, you love it. Give us your, your thoughts. I love it just because like, I literally feel like I was thinking recently, like I would love for RuPaul to do something risky. Like she's been doing so many just like gowns and like couture and it's looked beautiful, but like, yeah, I want to see her come out as like that, like more like punk rock RuPaul she used to be in the nineties. And like, she walked out in this and I was like, okay, it is giving me a little bit like Sony gingerbread outfit, but <laughs> it's at least like something that she hasn't done in a long time. And yeah. I found that to be very exciting. Yeah, I think what part of my problem with it is that it's very gingerbread, but I also appreciate because it was supposed to be a homage to Uggs, which were created in Australia. Oh, see, I love that. Yeah. I love it. All right. What do you think Instagram thought of Miss Paul? Seventy-four percent toot, girl. Which <laughs> right off the bat. Got it. Down. <laughs> um, all right, Mama. Uh, you are correct. Seventy-four percent too. Um, next up, we're gonna do the makeovers. This is just our opinions of the actual makeovers. Um, which was our favorite looks from the makeovers, not necessarily the best makeover, but just if we liked what they are wearing, their outfits and their makeup and such. Starting with Ketamine and her drag daughter, Fetamine. And she had a reveal that you can see the backside of. Um, I love both of these looks. I also love the name. Oh yeah. So all of the names that they gave them are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's just, she nailed it. She nailed it. Everything is right about it. Yeah, I like, I like honestly hope that Instagram gave this like at least a 92% to. Um, I will tell you that Instagram is wrong on this one only because someone told me they booted it by mistake. 
Oh. So the number is not accurate. Got it. So what do you think? We'll still go with 92. No, it would have been a hundred percent if they had oh. not mistakenly. Okay, it. it would have been a hundred. All right, cool. It would That's have been a hundred. Um, yeah, and rightfully so. This was by far the greatest look on the runway. Yeah. Gorgeous. Next we have um, who is this? Electra Shock and Riri Action. So. Yes. And I'm not. Even his thoughts. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm like, you know, a professional judge or anything, but I literally was like, I turned to Richard and I'm like, you know what? I get it. Like, this was a clever and smart move to be an alien. Yes. Like, it, but I was like, it also feels a bit of a cop out, but you cannot deny that it was a clever move. And so for yes. that, I was like, and that's what the judges ended up saying is like that you, this was a smart, creative take. Yeah. Why was it clever? because she she paint their faces are both like painted white and pink and stuff and so like she literally made them a different like alien species to like yeah. obviously give them a family resemblance oh are they different races or yes yeah oh okay yes yeah her queen is a person of color and i want to say maybe maori from new zealand yeah. Um, if not, then maybe Pacific Islander, but I don't believe that was the Pacific Islander queen. Um, I don't know. It was super smart of her to do this uh, because she's also not the greatest makeup artist. Right. And so it gave her a lot less to do with that. Um, yeah. But I think they look really good. Yeah, they look I good. like this a lot. I, I like, I, I'm also weird. So like, this is something that I would wear. Sure. So I like that. Although I would actually, the one thing that bothers me about it is that I would take off the headpiece and I would make the shoulders exaggerated and pointy. Oh, with maybe the, the spikes on the shoulders? Yeah, instead of having them on the head. Them. Okay, fair enough. It is a toot for me, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, like I'm, it. I'm tooting it. Yeah, it was clever and creative. Yeah, Instagram. Does Instagram like this queen? I think they do. Okay, I'm gonna I don't know. say- I, Who knows at this point? I'm gonna go with like a 65% too. 73, very close. 73, okay. You're within 10, girl. <laughs> um, so Give yeah. or take 10. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so they, they liked it somewhat. Next we have Maxi Shield and Silhouette. I think I booted this on Instagram and I'll stand by that choice. That's okay. You can boot it all you want. It's just so disappointing. It is. I wished that there are two things that I wish. I actually don't mind the outfits, but I wish they like folded down into a gown kind of reveal. Sure. With just like maybe a corset on underneath it. And I also wish that the yarn that they're using as their hair were swapped colors. So it would be the pink hat with the green hair. I thought something along those lines too of like having accessories that were swapped colors. True, like exactly. Something more going on, like earrings, necklaces, like this could have worked if they had just embellished more, yeah. but it, it's literally just two sacks. Yeah, it's, they're two beanbag chairs. And honestly, I was so surprised the judges didn't call them out harder. Like the judges I thought were nice. They were, and I mean, they're not bad, they're just, no, and that's like when uninteresting. We, when we can critique like the face and stuff, like the makeup's beautiful. Yeah. Like they look gorgeous. But they look like, great together. I mean, they're obviously a pair. Yeah, it's it's drag queens at the spa. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, yeah, I'm. T I want to give it a two, but I guess I have to give it a boo. But I do. I don't mind it. I think it's they're cute. I would wear something like this, but I would not wear it on Drag Race. Right. It's. <laughs> it's a club outfit like we've yeah. been saying throughout the season <laughs> um chris this is our queen who went home this week maxi shield oh no i know uh, right heartbreaking i mean i haven't watched it but i'm like getting to know the queens by talking to you guys yeah and i mean this was so far this has been her least successful runway but all of her un other runways have been fantastic right? I can't stop thinking about that like rainbow swoop hair and yeah, so cute. Oh. Yeah, 
I'm going to say that Instagram, like, ugh, yikes, like 88% booted this. Okay. It's hard with this one because she is so well loved. Yeah, people like her. Yeah. Um, but it was an 82% boot. 82, okay. <laughs> Give or take 10. Again. Give or take 10. You're right there, girl. Right there. <laughs> Can we say about the lip sync, I was kind of hoping slash expecting she was going to pull a microphone out again. <laughs> it would have been so funny to do like, that again. Yeah, if she had done it again, I would have like lost my mind. Yeah. And I would have still enjoyed it. <laughs> right. Because you're like, oh, she did that. She's not going to do that again. And there it is. <laughs> and there it is. And then that's just her gimmick. And I, ugh. Yeah. I wish yeah she she needed some kind of little gimmick to go through it, to get yeah. through it. Because um, she's not going to do tricks, obviously. Right. right. Oh. Um, next, we have Art Simone and Craft Simone, aka Art and Crafts Simone. That's cute and funny, and I will totally do do this. I know you would. Um, this is obviously another homage to Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. This is Mitzi and um, Felicia's dresses when they are getting off the bus. Is um, Art the one that did the? Priscilla look as no, well. No, that was Scarlet. Oh, good, good, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, this this flip-flop dress is iconic. <laughs> right. What do you say, David? I want to love it more. As RuPaul, what say you? <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't know why I don't love it more, but I want to love it more, which means that there's room to love it more. Yeah. I will say that I love the reference, but it is not the category. Right. A family resemblance. Right. Oh, sorry. We're voting on categories right now. Yes. Right? right now we're doing category. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to boot for category. I love the outfits, but. Yeah. Yeah. I have to boot it as well because I think they look fantastic. Um, and I love Priscilla. So I love the reference, but it's, she just wanted to do these outfits and tried to make it work for whatever yeah. she was doing. It just, yeah. Was she bottom two? Um, no. no. She was top three. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I thought she would have been in the bottom for this as well. Whoops. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you can't deny they look fantastic. Yeah. yeah. What do you think Instagram thought of this? I want to say that Instagram was not considering the family resemblance like we are, so right. they gave it a 82% two. Nope, just 59. Okay, I was way off. On I that. will say that also on this episode, Art was kind of a bitch the whole episode. Yeah, she's rubbing me the wrong way. Yeah, she did not come off good this episode. She's the one that came back also, right? Correct, yes. Um, so yeah, I think that may have played into it as well. People are just not happy. First that she came back with no explanation and then she got really nasty this week. This week. Yeah. With, kind of with all the queens. Just like tearing everyone yeah. down. Yeah. Yes, and indeed. Even, no, wait, no, oh my God, my jaw dropped when one of the rugby players even was like, she's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Then we have Scarlett Adams and drag daughter Sapphire Adams. It's a man in a dress. This is the roughest makeover. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a dress. It's it is a corset and panty. Yeah. She kept raving about how much she made a whole new outfit for her queen, which she did. She did. But it came out bad. She didn't, because she didn't, she tried to transform him the way she knows how to transform herself. Yeah. And she didn't look at him and tried to say how to make you yeah. a beautiful drag queen. She just exactly. tried to like put Scarlet on this man and that wasn't fair to him. Yeah, no. I'm going to boot this. It's a big boot for me yeah, as well. This is a cop out. Um, yeah, to me, this was the worst one of the week. And all she kept saying was like, but I made that for him, but I made it, but it's yeah. like. But you made it and it's ugly and doesn't fit him. Yeah. <laughs> and the paint on his face is just horrendous. Yeah. It's so bad. I felt so bad for him. 
Um, but his partner is hot, so I'm, I don't feel that bad for him. <laughs> his husband was also on the episode. Oh, got it. Yeah. Which um, one's the husband? You, um, I'll show you in a moment, because um, I'll show you them out of drag. Um, who? What do you think Instagram thought of this mess? I'm going to give this like another like 83% boot. No, just 55%. I don't know what people were looking at with this. <laughs> okay, Instagram. to me, this is the worst yeah. one ever. I just feel like the Instagrammers are thirsty. And... They could be, yeah. Um, and apparently racist, because <laughs> Scarlett <laughs> is, is our resident racist queen at the moment. Awesome. Great. Um, finally, we have Karen from Finance and Little Debbie from Reception. Oh, I booted this. <laughs> That, uh, I like, I don't mind the, that shape just looks like she's wearing a cardboard box. Yeah, it's such, it's a sack dress that she's wearing. And I know that Karen doesn't sew, so I know that she brought this and she just put it on her and said, here you go. <laughs> and so, yeah, it almost feels like it was kind of leaving her out in the dust with it. you like... I, is, I don't have anything. I don't have anything else to give you. Mine is tailored per, to perfection, and yours is garbage. That this is such a big boot for me. Yeah, David. David. I don't know. Like the very first time I saw it, I loved it because I was like, "She looks just like her." But yeah. the more you look at it, it's like if there was a Karen from Finance Party City costume. This is it. <laughs> That's what it is. Exactly. <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah, it's the lesser version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm torn by it as well because I do I, I don't actually hate it um, yeah. it's just I feel bad for the, the queen in, that she made up sure. so, I'll boot it as well whatever yeah. um, Chris it is to be noted that she was in the top three yes <laughs> agree to disagree Miss RuPaul <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what do you think Instagram thought of Miss Karen and Debbie? I just feel like Instagram liked this. I'm gonna say that they gave it like a 65% to 82. <laughs> they really liked it. Okay, y'all are crazy. You know what's better than one Karen? <laughs> Two. <laughs> um, all right, who is our top two for each of these? Oh, the first one, for sure. Mm. For sure, ketamine yeah. nailed this challenge. Um, yeah, there's no other winner. <laughs> All right, now we are going to toot and boot the actual makeovers. So we're just looking at their faces. Um, so you're gonna see them as a boy and then in drag, starting with Carl. Honestly, when you had Kita and Carl next to each other, like you couldn't, if you asked a person which one's the professional drag queen, you wouldn't be able to tell. They would not know. Yeah, toot toot. Also, he's fucking cute. He's yeah. so cute. He is the one that is the partner of the other guy, Brad, who we will see in a bit. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. There's another really cute one, though. There is another cute one. <laughs> um, yeah. Can we, also, can we also pick our top man? Our hot, our hot. Oh, yeah. We'll pick a top one out of this as well. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I think they did a great job. And I mean, honestly, Christian, who's been watching the show, when the two of them walked out, Christian's like, now, which one is the drag queen? I said, the taller one. That's all I could say. <laughs> That's the only way to separate them. It was incredible. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do that one. They oh, had an 86%. Oh, too. that's all right. Sorry, Chris. Only 86? I, I Only 86, I, I know. I would have said like 92 or 94. Yeah. And also like... I don't know. I guess you just would look at a guy like this and think like, oh, he's this like insecure mask guy. Like he was feeling his fantasy. He was having the best time ever. Yeah. It was it was so fun to watch. Yeah. Um, next we have um, I forgot his name. I don't know. I think it's Fara, F A R A. And Electra made him over, obviously, as the alien. Thoughts. 
It's like a, the paint's a little harsh. It is. But it's not bad. No, and I mean, that's how she made it easier for herself is she made it very severe looking to cover it up because she knew she couldn't paint his face. Right. Like she could. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll toot it. I yeah. think it's decent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a transformation for sure. <laughs> It's that, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think Instagram thought of this before I switch over? Um, 66% too. Very close, 565. Oh my God. <sighs> you are right on back. it. His name is Farah. That's what I meant okay. to say. It, it was Farah, I was correct. Um, next we have Dan being made over by Maxi Shield. Oh um, yeah, to, to I, I mean, if you just like, look at the the drag picture, you would think it's Maxi Shield. <laughs> that and do you know who else he's serving me? Roxy Andrews. A little bit of Roxy Andrews, yes. Right. That's very correct. Yeah. Yeah. And I it's love it. I mean, as far I, as a makeover, yeah. I think it's a big two. Mm -hmm. Two, 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 and I'm gonna say ninety-six percent two. Nope, 65. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but yeah, that's all it is. I think people held the costume against her. Probably. Probably. Um, next we have Jonah. Jonah is a big dude. He, to me, this is the greatest makeover on the stage. Yeah. RuPaul was like, you are a woman. RuPaul <laughs> called him a woman. <laughs> He's giving me... Um... I can't remember her name, Vibes. The one who is the tree. <laughs> Gamora? Yes. <laughs> the one who was the tree. That's funny. <laughs> I did it for us. <laughs> I did it for us. Ooh, for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a big two for me. I think she looks great. Yeah. I mean, that is a woman standing there. I wouldn't be surprised if Jonah showed up on Drag Race Down Under season two. <laughs> I honestly may have booted this by accident. There was one that I did like, and I was like, whoops. Oh yeah, so then, that's okay. What do you think Instagram thought of it then? Um, well, knowing I made a mistake, um, probably 88% too. Just 80, it wasn't 80 just seconds. you. It wasn't just you. Uh, next we have, um, I can't remember his name, but this is the partner of Carl, Brad, this is Brad. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this All is the right. travesty that Scarlett did to him. I, I no, just, just no. I mean, this is how I do my makeup minus the eye because I'm not trying to do drag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's rough. She just did so little. She, yeah, she did no favors to him whatsoever. Just like the, even like, I actually like the highlighter, but the contouring is just like- The contouring so is just off. bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. That is felt, not the right color lip to wear with this either. No, I felt bad for him on the stage. That's it's also crazy. not the right color eye at all. It doesn't match the earring. It doesn't match the dress. She yeah. looks like a clown performer. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. This is why I don't wear a lip because I don't want to look like this. <laughs> See, I love wearing a lip. Well, I, I do a lip, but I don't do a liner. So like, oh, I don't- I don't do a liner either. Yeah, that I don't like, do a liner I'll either. just put a color on my lip, but I'm not gonna go Yeah, this yeah, I don't out. go I don't go crazy with mine either. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you think Instagram thought of this? Oh, I hope it's like a 96% boot. Nope, just 60. Just 60, okay. I, I don't get that one either, but you know. But yeah, to me, that was the worst makeover. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Finally, we have Wolf, who was with Karen Finance. So adorable, this Wolf. He is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, and would you recognize that that was him inside there? No. Not one bit. <laughs> I wish we um, could be without the glass. Yeah, I I would actually. Yeah, you see him in there. Yeah. Okay. But I am gonna 
toot this. I'm gonna I don't, toot it as well. I, I hate the outfit, but I'm gonna toot the makeup. Yeah, I mean, the judges complained about the glasses being there as well because they couldn't see her face behind it. Um, I don't think that was to hide the makeup because the makeup looks fine to me. Yeah, it looks great. It was when just, she was on the runway, did she take them off at any point or no, were they kept on? No, they left, they both left them on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a toot as well. I think it's, she did a great job. And he is just so adorable to look at. What do you think Instagram thought of this last one? I'm going to give this a 74% too. 70, you are right on there. Close. Very close. That also seems low to me. Uh, it's probably because just... the outfit was so bad. That could be, yeah, it totally could be. Oh, but um, also Instagram liked the outfit. But yeah, they got a high two for that. Yeah. Um, all right, who's your favorite makeover? I'm gonna go with Fetamine. Yeah. Fetamine. Also just because he is so adorable. Oh, he's... I know. And was having just the time of his life in there. He was, he was. Who was your, David, who was the one that you liked? Um, the other one was uh, Electra's guy. He was really cute. He... Which one? This Who's one? That? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Bara. Beauty. So cute. Um, I mean, I'm going to give it to Jonah because I think that's the best. It's my favorite to look at as a makeover. Which one's Jonah? The Priscilla girl. Oh, got it. Yeah. Just because now I'm I'm changing my mind. I'm giving it to to Fetamine as well because he had the most fun overall. No peer pressure. <laughs> no, I'm totally fine with. I mean, I'm I am Team Ketamine through and through since day one. I have been Ketamine. 100%. Yeah. Um, I recall. Yes. Um, so I am on board with that. I am happy that she finally won a challenge. I hope that means she's not going home this week. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, the star is rising at the right time. Yeah, it is a talent show next week, so God knows what we're going to get. Okay, well, now I really have to watch. <laughs> you do, because we're going to judge their talent as well. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a week. All right, perfect. You sent me your, I, I have your login information, so yes, I will use it. It comes out on Saturday, so. It what? It comes out on Saturday. Oh, okay. Have so you, don't, you don't have a week. Have we ever had a talent show during a regular season? No, it was weird to me as well. because I was like, oh, we're also only having five people in the talent it's show. It's always been the talent show at the beginning of an All-Stars. It's the yeah. first episode. Right. Right. Correct. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, um, based on this, David, who is your top three? Oh, God. So who do we have? We have Kita, Karen, Electra, Scarlett. And Art. And Art. Right now, I think it'll be Kita, Karen, and Scarlett. I think Electra will go home next, and then Art will go home. I really thought Electra was going to lip sync against Scarlett this week. They were kind of building that up. Yeah. And I know that it's going to happen eventually. <laughs> right, they've alluded to it. Um, I'm hoping it's next week, and I hope Scarlett goes home. We'll see. It's a possibility. But I mean, uh, with a talent show, who knows? I'm assuming they're both going to dance mm. in the talent show. Scarlett was a much different lip, lip syncer than I thought she was going to be. I know for her saying that she's a dancer, it wasn't, she, she's not really a trained dancer. I think she's a bar dancer. This is what it looked like to me. Sure. It was, it was a it little- It wasn't bad. It was just like, oh, you're not a dancer. It was a little more old drag than I thought she would do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it was interesting yeah. um i didn't love her lip sync i will say that I, maxi pulled out a microphone i would I, die. I honestly still enjoyed maxi's more but i think it's because i think maxi is a better drag queen yeah than scarlet is so i think that's why i enjoyed it more because she was dancing around on the stage um having a good time yeah maxi just knows how to perform yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i, I was like I would go see her show in a heartbeat if she ever came here. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else on this episode? Not right. yet. My, I my top to three watch. is Ketamine, Art, and Karen. Only because I'm never, I'm not giving up Ketamine until they send her home. 
No, I think she'll make it. I don't know. I mean, also, I don't know if they're going to have a top four um, because I thought they would have a double elimination at some point. Right. Same. Um, because they brought back art, but that hasn't happened yet. I was scared last night they were going to do a double save and I was like, oh my God. We're... I know. I thought so too, because I was like, they both did a good job. <laughs> um, but, oh well. All right. That's all we have today. Um, thank you boys once again for joining me. Uh, you don't even have to go back to work. It's 5.59. <laughs> Is that what the my clock says? Yes. I, know. I will not be going back to work. <laughs> Me I am either. Tired. I'm shutting down. Um, I told David I've been staring at Excel spreadsheets all day and it, my eyes hurt. Yeah. Hashtag end of fiscal year. Yikes. Exactly. Uh, but thank you all for watching and listening. Uh, you can join us next week when we toot and boot the looks from the talent show. And Chris is going to watch so we can actually judge their talent. I promise. I'm committing um, If myself. not, maybe we'll watch it right before. We'll watch the talent portions. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I can share it on my screen. I don't know. Probably. We'll try. Um, thank you all. Uh, please stay safe out there. It's hot. Hydrate yourself. Or just stay inside in the air conditioning. That's my recommendation to you all. Um, bye, boys. I will talk to you soon. David, I'll see you Thursday. See ya. Chris, am I going to see you at all? Thursday? What's Thursday? He's coming to the office. Oh, okay. I was like, what am I not invited to? You're literally talking about um, I mean, we do usually go out for drinks afterwards. Um, um, yeah, I'm actually going to be in Vermont. Oh, I was going to say, I may still be in drag. <laughs> ah, yeah. Th Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I'm going to start coming back into the office next week. I okay. Oh. Great. So maybe we'll have drinkies. Maybe we'll have I want to go to meals. I want to go to the duplex. They just reopened. I messaged Ryan about it today. So he's down. Awesome. I'm all for cool. it. All right. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.